Okay. Hey, hi, welcome to Karen and Johnny. We're gonna do it wrong. And uh, we've been asked, well, you know what I mean. Yeah. Maybe you don't know what I mean. But you know, we, we, at, we get asked all the time that maybe we should do more videos together. So we really want to do this little show, Karen and Johnny do it raw, or Johnny and Karen do it raw, whatever you guys like. So today, Johnny is going to... Actually, yeah, I think this is going to be a great video because we're going to do a green juice. Everybody asks, what's a great recipe to start with? And we're using Karen's ancient green star juice. So we're going to actually see if it's it works. Ancient, you know, this is, this is before they knew, this was like the first model. Was that born yet? Did you think that was funny? Obviously. I, 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 <laughs> um, go ahead, keep you talking know, no, about No, this was, this, was, this was the end thing. It, you know, this was the twin auger. Because before that, everybody used a champion juicer, you know, with the single aug, the single thing. And then they came out with this, and this was the end thing. And I got one, and it was very expensive at the time. But this it's one still is the telling end thing. Me, well, it's still the end thing. This one is telling me that it's ancient, and it's ancient because it's still in thing. But does it look different than yours? Yeah, mine's much more modern. I mean, this look huh. it's like bronze, and like there's still dust. You can't even clean some of the dust <laughs> off this thing. But it, it's. Well, as long as it does the job, we're gonna we're gonna test it out and see. So we have antique equipment. I actually have an original wheatgrass juicer that I bought in 1970 something, and I actually had a friend paint it psychedelic. This was how long ago it was. So this look at this wheatgrass juicer. Well, this is just a real good professional. One. Here, I'm gonna actually zoom it in on the camera so everybody can see. Why not? See, he's just look at this. Fun of me today. No, this is this is that's a this pretty is sweet a wheatgrass real juicer. Serious juicing, okay. And up until I moved to this spot, I did four, five, six ounces of wheatgrass juice every day, and it will be starting again soon. So. Yeah. Karen's the one that got me hooked on uh, uh, wheatgrass. Yes. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a basic green juice recipe, so everybody at home He's watching... Gonna He's going to make it. Well, we're going we're gonna to talk He's about why. He's finally going to juice for me. You know, he comes here all the time. When we have different people in the restaurant, he brings them juice. He brings everything. Does he ever bring you juice? I bring you juice. He does not bring Are you. Are you ready to finally try <laughs> my juice? <laughs> as long as we're doing it wrong, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. All okay. right. So, very simple. Ginger, apple, cucumber, lemon, kale, celery. And so often people go, well, why do I want to juice? Why don't I just eat the cucumbers, the kale, and the lemons? Well, first of all, who's going to sit down and eat not, all of this? Because we're not eating it. Right. And you know, most people aren't going to sit down and eat this amount every day. The other reason is it assimilates into your system so much easier. And you know how the body needs all this water? Well, this is organic water you're getting. The Structured body. water from the plants. Yes. So you can't do much better than that or any better than no. that. And then what we're going to do is we have some coconuts. I'm going to have Karen crack it and we're going to dilute a little coconut water uh, in the juice as well. And why? Uh, just to sweeten it up a little bit. Because I just learned that from you. I never to did coconut to water me, in my juice. To me, it's, 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 you know, added electrolytes, potassium, more minerals, and it's, it, makes it sweetens taste the juice too. Exactly. So, um, yeah, you want to add anything else about the ingredients? No, no, I don't. I, think I, I like the celery and cucumber because it's like, it, it produces a lot of uh, water. juice. Water, yeah, organic exactly. water, yes. And I'm not a big celery lover for juice, but you know what? We're going to try this juice. It's just the taste, you know, oh. I'm not in love, but it's so good for you and it helps to calm you down. And it's got orga uh, sodium, it's so good for the body. Healing to the GI tract, helps yeah. your gut restore hydrochloric acid so you can absorb some nutrients, so. Okay. Ginger. Oh, I love ginger. Wanna talk about ginger? Ginger, well, for those, those of us in Chicago, it's perfect because it helps heat the body up when it's cold. Oh yeah. So you throw a little ginger in your juice and you won't get as cold outside. Not that I do anyway, I kind of uh, morph into whatever the, temperature I'm in, which is the way we're supposed to be. You know, we're kind of like animals. We're supposed to be able to go from hot to cold and hot to cold without tons of clothes, but the ginger will help you stay warm. Yeah. And do you want to talk about this real quick before oh we my, get into it? Yeah, we're selling Rejuvalac. We're making it again. This is not my formula formulation. It's Dr. Ann Wigmore, who started the raw movement for us in our time, but it's a fermented drink a lactobacillus drink it's some good bacteria without having the cow secretions in it so it's a good bacteria for your body it's b12 for us vegans we need that it's a wonderful protein it will give you energy get you going and it's a good bacteria what's funny about the b12 is like i was working in a functional medicine office for the last year and 
you'd be surprised all the people on standard American diets that are B12 deficient because the animals aren't eating they're grass right. no more. Exactly. So they're not getting the B12 from the soil. They're eating corn. So they're deficient. I think we're... We oh, we're all more. deficient and they worry about just being vegan, but everybody like this. Everybody. You said. Everybody. Right. Okay, well, let's get this started. What do you think? Yes, I'm right. thirsty. All right, now we're going to oh, see if this works. Work. Please work. Please work. I'll never live it down if it doesn't. Is this just a wheatgrass juicer? I mean, because... No. Is there a reason you did the ginger first? Um, well, let's see if it... Uh-oh. It doesn't go through. See oh, that? you know what? Let's try this. Because this is what I used. Here. It works. He, it works. I fixed her juicer, juicer today. She hasn't used it and she said she needs a new juicer. Because it was broken and I was trying to... Well, when you buy a... When you have a 1920 juicer, of course. <laughs> So we're putting a lot of ginger in here, but it works. You're not making it look so easy though. No, I'm not. Well, this isn't an easy machine. <laughs> Mine was much more user friendly before. Hold on, let's stop this real quick. Should we use the other juicer? No, I think this is perfect. I, well, the just... twin auger, when the juice is made with the twin auger, they say it's good for hours after or up to a couple of days. A few days. Know? Yeah, you, you get two or three days because it's pressing the juice out instead of centrifugal where it's just pushing it out. Perfect. So the reason why you want to do the ginger first is so the ginger and then I normally do the greens next. So then everything else kind of water, Close. all the water kind of pushes everything through. So we did we did the ginger. And you put the peel in first, the crunchy part in first, yes. instead of the leaf first. Notice yep. all these little things folks. Yeah. This is the juicing expert. Yes. Even though I bought expert, this machine when he was in the womb. I don't even so think I my must mom have known was born. something about juicing. I don't juicing. even think my mom was born when uh, she bought this juicer. <laughs> so yep. since it's so old, I think we have to do a little at a time. <laughs> there we go. You gotta be careful too, my finger can well, go in there. I think it always worked that way, I guess maybe. But you don't want them to go too fast then because no. it will oxidize, oxidize it. So right. this nice slow movement yeah. is what you want. Yeah, the slow your... movement, so we'll be here till next week <laughs> and we'll finally get our green juice. There you go. Beautiful. Are we making enough for both of us? Or just you, no, we're making enough because we got the coconut water too. That stretches. I, I'm like obsessed with coconuts. I bought, like I said, three boxes. Um, I just think it's, if I had to live on one food, it'd probably be coconut. So I have to tell you, um, years ago, Aris Latham, who's one of the greatest raw food chefs Arise. in the world, he introduced me in 1990 or 89, he introduced me to Young Green Coconuts. You couldn't buy them everywhere, there was no whole foods in either. And you could only get them in um, Asian markets. We, but we used to get a case of nine for $4.50. But anyway, the big thing with coconuts was, uh, Aris actually did a retreat in, in uh, Jamaica that we all went to, and we had to drink nine to 17 coconuts a day to flush the body, to heal the kidneys and everything. Yeah, it was the most amazing thing on the planet. And that's when I got introduced to coconuts. It was before they had all these neat little things. I actually went to the um, Army Navy store and bought a machete. <laughs> yeah. And my husband at the time came down, and I'm in the kitchen with a machete, um, opening up my coconuts. But yeah, yeah, that cocoa jack is great. Yeah. But now, it, it doesn't work that well for me. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of getting it, but it's yeah. not as easy as you make it look when you do it. Well, nothing's easy in this kitchen. I mean, like I said, the juicer. No, the juice is actually working pretty well. It's giving it a hard time. See? Which is the good news. If you bought one a thousand years ago, it still works. It still works. So pull it out. That's why I recommend the green star. The green star pieces are amazing. See, I didn't use this for years because I had the juice bar. Right. Oh. Look at this. I mean, if, if it gets through the ginger, you know it's working. Right? Yeah, it's working really good. You fixed it. He I fixed, fixed it. it. He fixed it. She needs a man. I didn't know he was handy at all. Well, when yes, it comes to juicers and, he was and the little doggy and the closed dog, the, the, the closed doggy, who would know he the could fix it? The closed doggy. That's hilarious. You know the closed doggy is hilarious. He has outfits for every dog has more clothes oh, than I do. Wait till you see. I Does he have a closet like mine? He has four drawers. He has 11 Halloween costumes, 
Uh, he has about six jackets. What do you want from me? I don't have a kid. Or he's, much of a life that doesn't sound right. <laughs> oh, well. I enjoy his company. And he's a sweetheart. We love him a lot. I miss him today, actually. Yeah, you crazy. miss him peeing and crap all over the place? Right, right, right. But he eats good, so you know the pee is clean, I guess. Next time, next time we'll put him in a colonic room so he, uh, he doesn't go. And now we're coming to the cucumber. It's so good. Let me ask you, did you get organic vegetables? Everything's organic. I always, always juice organic. Do the best you can when you eat, but when you're juicing, you don't want to be concentrating the pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, all the chemicals, and drinking it. I mean, but you know what Dr. Whitmore used to have us do? You could actually buy wheatgrass and put the blades in the water, and you put the fresh vegetables in the water, and the wheatgrass literally absorbs the poison. That the wheatgrass is so powerful, you can put a tray between you and your color TV, and it will absorb the radiation. You don't want to do the wheatgrass afterwards. But you could actually soak your, I don't know how pure it would be, but she used to believe we could help our vegetables a lot by giving them a little wheatgrass bath. Funny thing is, everybody is like, they buy this veggie spray and all this stuff. I rinse my vegetables because I buy them organic. If there's dirt on them, I still juice them. I don't, I don't that's your minerals. That's your minerals. Everybody that's your B12. Told. That's your minerals. You know, when I have my doggy in the park and the dogs are eating the dirt and all the owners go, ah, oh, stop eating the dirt. They want their minerals. They're not getting their minerals. I agree. So we have to keep talking while you're doing this. So we're not uh, doing the thing where people can ask us questions, but no. they can write into our YouTube station and get questions. Yeah, That's they just right. comment below on the video. Oh, okay. We're going to be doing a lot more of these because is... I'm going to be coming by a lot more and we're going to be making fun videos, very interactive. We're still going to be doing our live videos, right? Right, but I'm actually building like a little studio here where we'll, you'll be able to interact with us. That's part of what we're going to do when they can send us to Yeah. With, on YouTube. Yes. This is, this is actually making a lot of juice. So and I'm really one. excited because, like I said, today's day 26 of my juice feast, and I, uh, I'm thirsty because all I had today was some water and some grapefruit and a little bit of coconut water. You want to crack those coconuts? Okay, I'll try. He's looking for the humor in the video, right? <laughs> He's being smart. You want to crack the coconuts? Okay, Let's see. I'm gonna give it a shot. He actually bought me this. Oh, I did. He bought me this as a gift. Christmas. How can I not love him? Are you playing the drums or are you trying to open the coconut? I, I, I feel like we should start chanting. The dancing. See the what am I doing? Alright, this is what you gotta do. You just gotta give it a couple whacks, right? No. You ready? Look that strong. Well, look, even the dog is wondering what you do. And then, what you do, and actually, a guy that I follow, uh, uh, Chef Kepra, Chef Kepra, who was taught by Arise Latham, mm -hmm. uh, he talks about coconut water all the time, and uh. He, he, that's, uh, no, actually I got the mixing of the gr uh, coconut with green juice from Dan, the life regenerator, oh. but, but Chef Kepper does it as well. And so, it just, it just gives it such a unique taste. It's so sweet and it's, it's just like, well, once again, the other an thing orgasm that, in your mouth. The other thing, Dr. Whitmore used to say the only thing to mix your, um, wheatgrass with would be coconut water because it helps to get the fats, the fats help it to get into your system faster. Wow. Yeah, we got, we got some good stuff going this on. This is right all here. makeshift. So you wanna, you wanna hold this? Mm -hmm. Maybe hold that and let's see if we can do this without spilling. What do you Go to the corner. Yeah, I know. Oh, a little spillage. We'll lick it up later. It's a lot of juice though. You know, people used to do that in the 60s when they'd waste drugs on the ground or the floor, they'd lick it up. Or... Really? Yeah. Drugs? Yep. I don't know nothing about it, I just thought, look at you wasting half of it. Okay. We yeah, there is a lot coming out. And we're not going to edit this video. Do you have a paper towel? Or... Yeah, I'm just like this. Okay, wipe with this? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll wipe with this. 
Oh, that breaks but, my heart. Yeah, I mean, I would have looked it up actually. I don't know what I'm thinking. Um, you need glasses. Well, I have, I have my mason jar. And you have this. Do you want to you chuck this? Sure. This is the last of my rejuvenal. I, I drink two to four glasses of this a day. Just makes you feel wonderful. Today was the first time I ever tried Rejuvelac, and I actually liked it. It was actually really good. And you can make it with other grains other than wheat. But raw organic sprouted wheat, there's no problem with it. Am I the Noah of the... <laughs> with the little you're, you're the Noah in this video, yes. Alright, so... Mm. And we still got more green juice left over, but... Mm. For now, we're going to do a taste test for you guys. Cheers. Wish you were here. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's what you call life. Oh. This is a great juicer. See, it's, you can taste the potency compared to a Breville, which is still a good juicer. See, we got the Breville over here just in case this didn't work. But it's a centrifugal juicer, oxidizes the nutrients, and there's it a lot of like foam. It. it tastes more watered down. This is extremely potent. The Green Star. I mean, this would be a commercial for them. Well, maybe they'll give me a new one when they see this. Yeah, they should. Huh? Mmm. Very good. To show how long I've had it, one of their originals, it still works. This is fun. Is it good? Oh my God. I think it's because I made it though. I don't think it's because of the juicer. It's because I, think I made it. It's because it. it's Johnny's juice. She needs it. It's Johnny's <laughs> juice. You haven't had juice till you had mine. All right? <laughs> This is, it's almost has a peppery flavor to it because of the ginger. It's the ginger. got that. And then you notice how the coconut water kind of brings it all together? Oh, because the fats, it pulls it, and then it gets in your system differently. Yeah. This is phenomenal, folks. I'm so sorry that you don't get to be here and try it. Too. So here you go. Simple green juice recipe. Kale, celery, cucumber, apple, lemon, ginger, and, and some coconut water to sweeten it. And a person to share it with. Absolutely. Thank you, Johnny. Yep. Mwah. So we're going to be doing more. Yes, Karen and Johnny do it raw. Yeah, in the cleanest way possible. Because raw is clean. It has to be. It's only clean. I'll be making some food too. We'll, we'll do lots of good stuff. With this. Yeah, cool. All right. All righty. Uh -huh. Thanks for watching. Cool. Let a guy. All right. So Karen, his... Karen made a little bit of a mess. There. I did not. I just took it away from him. Look, he just poured the whole thing. You see how I'm carefully doing it? Nothing is being wasted. Well, how about and when if, Mr. How about if I Juicer do this? there did it. How about if I do this? Will this make you feel better? <laughs> yes. When Mr. Juicer did it. But look, not one ounce wasted. Well, look at the strainer. This is like, it goes along with the juicer. It's like from 1920 <laughs> over here. But what you do is, oh, it almost tastes salty. Mm. I need a spoon. Mm. But what you do is you, uh, yeah, that's a you mess. tilt it to the corner. Well, I, I just make the juice, all right? I'm not, I'm not Lita, you don't handy when it comes pour. to pouring. Well, at home, I have all the utensils. Over here, it's like... The place is just being built. Mm-hmm. Mm. You see, well, the foam that you're throwing out is actually... Oh, you can have all the foam you want. <laughs> all right. So I guess I did make a mess. Yes, you did make a mess, but this is... Mm. Mm. You like the this foam? This is good. Only if it's green foam, <laughs> okay? Keep it clean. <laughs> Only if it's green foam.